Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how easy it is to decorate um, towels, tea towels for your kitchen. So we're going to be doing two yellow tea towels. Um, these tea towels came from Craft Warehouse in Boise, Idaho. I don't know where you get them besides that, uh, but you could look online and check to see what you can find. And then look at your normal places, Hobby Lobby, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So we're going to be using this stencil right here that says Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy. It looks terrible because I like this stencil and I've used it. We're going to do that on this one. And then we're going to use this stencil on the solid yellow. Uh, we're going to do that one first. But what I wanted to ask you guys, I'm just in this little bit of this lemon mood. Did you guys see this video that I did yesterday? This is a stuffy, well it's two stuffies, that I made in the shape of lemons. And then I stenciled the word howdy. I used my favorite pen set to do all the squiggles and dots and the little bubble things. And then I used a stencil to do the leaves. So I just wanted to show you that in case you hadn't seen it. If you would like to watch this video, let me know and I'll be, be glad to get you a link to watch the video. Okay, so let's jump right in. All right, I'm going to be using this stencil on this tea towel. And I want it to be just in the part when you fold it and hang it over your stove. Okay? I don't want to cover the whole entire thing with this stencil. So, before I came live, I just took some masking tape. And I taped that area off. And I'm just going to pull my stencil off of the backing sheet. Um, I like this stencil too, obviously. I'm not going to fuzz it because I'm going on to fabric. And in my opinion, you really don't need to fuzz when you're going into onto fabric. And I'm just going to get it placed. And then I'm pushing it down real good. And then I want to point out that I have a paper towel underneath. I think this tea towel is pretty tightly woven and it shouldn't be a problem, um, but I want to protect my crafting desk. So definitely when you're going to stencil a tea towel, unfold it first. You do not have to wash them before you get started. You certainly can if you want, but it's not, it's not absolutely necessary. Okay, and I'm gonna use white chalk paste because I think that'll be really pretty. A white and yellow combination. Oh, it's not chalk paste, I'm sorry. This is ink. <laughs> ink is what you need for um, fabric. And ink can be heat set so that it will be permanent and you can use this tea towel it can get wet it can be washed and it can even be dried um i don't think i said any of my normal stuff hey <laughs> as you're hopping on tell me hello so i know who's here um feel free to ask questions feel free to sprinkle if you would like to if you want info on the um things that i'm using the ink or these stencils, just let me know in the comments and I'll be glad to get it for you. I'm trying not to go too far outside of my masking tape. You can see that really didn't use very much ink. Now I'm just going to pick up the big globs and we'll peek. Let's see, is there any big area that I missed? It doesn't look like I went clear out to the edges. And I'm not sure why. we 
go. Let's look on this other side. Yep, it looks great. So I'm going to take it off. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. We could embellish it some more if we wanted. This is going to go in my little tub of water over here to soak until I can get into the kitchen to wash it. I'm just pushing it under the water. And it is important, especially with ink, that you get it washed off pronto. Um, yeah, so now we're going to do the other one. Let's see, I'm curious to know if any of the ink went through. I see lots of people hopping on, and when it's fully dry, then I will remove the masking tape. I don't want to take it off right now because I have some areas where the um, design went over it. So this is what it looks like. It's going to be super cute. What do you guys think? So let's just hang it over that chair. Doesn't feel like anything went through that. Okay, and let's get the second one ready. So I said at the start of the video that these tea towels came, came from a cute craft store called Craft Warehouse in Boise, Idaho. They um, have stores in some cities out west, but not out east where I live. So I always go there when I'm visiting my mom. I don't know if you can order online, but I, I feel like you can order good tea towels on Amazon. So, and I know I'll get at least 100 questions <laughs> asking where can I get those tea towels because they are super duper cute. This one especially, oh my goodness, it's adorable. Underneath, and I'm going to do this one also um, in that center area that would be folded so that that is what you see when you hang it over um, your oven door. I love yellow. We're going to do black on this one, and that is because I don't think that if I did white that you would even be able to see it. Okay, black is dark, so when you're stenciling on fabric with black, you want to be careful that you don't use too much medium and that you don't go over and over and over and over because when you do that, you're basically pushing your medium underneath the edges of the stencil and it won't look crisp. So, um, so just be cautious to not go over and over and over and over and over and not to put too big of globs of ink on here. And then after it's dry, after it's fully dry, I will use my iron and a piece of parchment paper for three or four minutes on cotton, no steam, just to go over and over and over front and back and then it'll be fully washable, which is the coolest thing. just trying not to have too much ink go on at one time. This kind of thing makes such a fun host gift. So if you're invited to, you know, a summer barbecue or any kind of get together for Mother's Day or anything else over the summer, um, I just think it's fun to take a little something for the host or hostess that is not, you know, super, not super expensive and is something that I made. Okay, let's peek and see. Make sure I don't have tons of black ink on my fingers. It looks great. 
It's adorable. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh my gosh, that is super adorable. Super duper duper adorable. And it did go through in the black. So that is why you want to make sure that you have your surface protected. So let me see if I can pick it up. These two are gonna be super adorable next to each other. And that is what my plan is. So after they're dry, after I've had a chance to heat set them, I will put them on my stove and get a picture for you. Hang on two seconds and I'll be right back. If you would like to uh, know how to get that all over lemon pattern stencil or the easy peasy lemon squeezy stencil, or this one, if even this howdy, which is called Aztec Pattern because of this part of it, um, or ink or squeegees or, you know, anything else, just let me know. You can say I want supply list or complete supply list or you can say something specific and I will dig all that up for you. Deborah Schroeder says, hi Heidi, oh my gosh, it has been forever since I caught you live. Wow, I am pretty much going live every single day. It's just Facebook. They don't, they, you know, don't show me to very many people or anyone hardly these days. So if you want to help me with that, do it this or this. This is better. Say something to me in my, in the comments. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. That really helps. And, um, oh, and make sure you've liked and followed this page. Yes, Elizabeth, I love lemons too. I'm in a very lemony mood. Um, I'm looking for some cushions for my front porch. I have a, a little faux wicker settee and two chairs. So I'm looking for some cushions in black and white. And then I'm gonna accent with yellow pillows. I'm gonna put this on my door. I'm gonna do lemon accents out front. And um, so when I do that, I will definitely go live while I'm doing that too. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. Hope to see you on Saturday, and I hope to see you on Sunday for Christ and Crafting. Bye, everyone.